Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I got something really special today. I got my nice truck I've been waiting for this for about a month. It's a 114th scale Overland 4x4 almost ready to run truck. It's from RC 4 wheel drive. And yeah, it took me about a month to get it. It was a pre-order. They had delays because of the virus and now I have it. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing video and a few other things, but right now I'm doing an unboxing video so I can see it's still taped. I know there's some people concerned about can you get sick from touching this stuff and from what I've learned you can't get sick on something that's been sitting around for it's been in a plane it's been hot and cold for two three days you know not to mention I believe these are bo actually boxed before everything got shut down so I'm not worried about it viruses usually need living hosts to survive so yeah but let's just wash your hands like you would with anything else Anyway, so I've got to cut the plastic off of this very nicely. It's all loose and actually pull it up. Let's go like this. I don't want to stick this. I think the corners are well enough. Yeah, I like the new camera I got. Looks just so much easier because I'm just using the head. Basically, it's a head mount. It's like a, it's like a hat. You just wear it on your head. It keeps the camera mounted. And then, of course, then the app lets me see it through the phone, so I know if I'm lined up. Works good. Come on. Ugh. A little trip, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I get ready. They over tape these things just because they want to make sure it survives shipping. Yeah, this is something I've been working, waiting on for a while. I've been wanting to get a 14 scale truck, and I was going to get a Timia. I was going to get one of the Timia ones, but I decided on this for the money. You get something that's got a lot of aluminum parts to it. And yes, it may not be a full giant axle. And, you know, I just realized I didn't freaking cut the other part. <laughs> the back part. Oh boy. Where's my head at? Well, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, I've got back issues. I've had two surgeries on my back. And the last one was a fusion. And because of that, when it gets cold, it gets my back hurts. I mean, the summertime is it's not so bad. It's just the winter gets bad. And I had to take my pain pills, which. Some people, it, it, it actually wakes me up. Well, it does not allow me to sleep. Okay. So yeah, I couldn't get to sleep till past 5 a.m. Very nice. All right, so this tells me this was not boxed before I ordered it. Oopsie, then just wash your hands, right? Don't want to keep my address on there too long in case there's people out there who want to find me. <laughs> I really don't care. I live in Idaho. That's as far as I'm taking it. This is as far as I'm saying. Oh, they package thing up tight. Really well packaged, which is good. Good. If something costs as much as this does. I mean, granted, this was with shipping was four ten. Not bad. I mean, like I said, for the money, you get more aluminum stuff than you do with the Timia trucks. And I'm not. This one, I have a totally different plan for this anyway. I'm going to be building a camper for the back part of it. Yep. Look at that. Ooh, pretty. This way you can see already. That is nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing already. Very well packaged. Very well packaged. I like how they always take that extra detail for packaging. Plus, this stuff's always good when you're actually working on stuff to prop them up. It's always nice. And looks like I got an Amazon package. So good so far, though. You know, I mentioned it came with aluminum fuel tank, which I don't see, so... If that's truly the case, it didn't come with aluminum fuel tank, then I'm going to be calling them up going, Hey, it's supposed to come with aluminum fuel tank. Where the hell is it, right? And they give me some bull story about, oh, yeah, but it's, it was in the... The reason I said it's supposed to come with aluminum fuel tank is because it actually says fuel tank built aluminum on the description. So it doesn't have it. So this version of the truck is four-wheel drive. They have a 6x6. It comes with a whole 
like a utility bed in the back, which is fine. I wanted this one because one, it was a lot more affordable. It's almost ready to run, which means I put my electronics in, which I bought it's over there. On top of that, um, I wanted to do my own camper type style off-road bed for the back. I actually bought a bunch of plastic sheets that are designed for making model models. Basically, you build it with use place plastic sheets of big models, buildings, whatever. I'm using them to make a big camper for the back of this thing and actually got photos online from different things like this. You can see it. Kind of cool looking. You can kind of see it there. It's going to kind of resemble that. Plus, I'm going to do a roll cage on the whole back of it just to make it stronger and I got lights coming from the top of that. It's going to be pretty darn cool once all said and done. Let me get this out of here. Safely. We got the Carefully lift this out, no damage. Make sure this damaged, make sure it came with what it was supposed to come with. That's interesting. Came with a USB. Let's see what that's in that. Yeah, this is definitely heavy duty. Very nice. Let's get this out of the way. Very nice. Look at that. So, uh -oh. nice metal bits. The mirrors fold in and out. That is really cool. Oh, this something I thought was really cool. You turn a little handle on the door. Let me get it close. Pop it out a little bit so you can see it. So, you turn this little handle here, and the door opens up. Oh, that's sick. What? Super scale. Look at the interior. And it didn't turn the steering wheel, which I was kind of hoping it would, but. I know, honestly, I can always put a little servo in there and rig that up if I really wanted to. Three seats, very nice. This is very well scale built, I like it. It's four wheel drive with locking differentials, remote locking, two speed transmission here. You can see the scale doors open and close like that, very nice. Right, that's going to be tightened up, that's loose. I mean, they did say in the instructions that you're probably going to have to retighten some of these things. They're going to be a little loose, but I mean, for what it is, it's not bad. Eh, it's a little bit looser than I want to see it. Sorry. The doors are a little bit looser than I want. I think they're plastic hinges or something, but definitely nice. Just it doesn't want to close perfectly, which is kind of silly, but you should have to come off. Kind of cool, huh? And this has little hinge hatches here. You kind of twist these over here and then open up this. Oops. That wasn't supposed to pop off like that. Yeah, things need a little dressing. Some glue here and glue there. I think I'm going to be giving, I will be giving RC4 a driver call because it specifically said aluminum fuel tank. And I don't see aluminum fuel tank. This is not, this thing right here is not a fuel tank. It's more like a battery box or something, or storage. I mean, reality, when for the build, they can store electronics in here and stuff, things like that, no big deal. But as far as saying there's a fuel tank, there's no fuel tank. This is the, that's the front bumper. I am ordering a um, nice winch for this thing. RC Foley Drive makes the 50 pound dead, dead man, or deadlift winch. I'm getting that. It's gonna be mounted right in the oops. Give me mounted right in the front. There's a bumper that goes on here, but I'm gonna find a room that will be a winch mounted. It's gonna be sweet. Anyway, so this should just open up. Okay, I see how it goes now. Let's just make sure it doesn't touch. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice battery tray. Nice area for all that. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, sure it needs a little adjustment here and there to make it just perfect, but not bad at all. What you got? Definitely has some weight to it. And this is without the electronics or the bed I'm putting on the back of this. Or the, not the bed, it's the camper. It's a huge camper I'm building. I just hope it turns out as nice as this does. This looks, you know.
Yeah, see, when, on the description it stated, fuel tank, blood aluminum. Um, this is actually your battery box. These are your air tanks, and the other side is more of a storage thing. It's not a fuel tank. Which is nice, you can actually stuff things back there. But, yeah, I'm going to give them a call and go, hey, you said fuel tank? Yeah, I'm going to try to get a fuel tank. They have them in stock, so if I can get a fuel tank out of them, then I will. Uh, that's not good. It's probably still sitting in the box, huh? And my guess is these were already built and put in, and they just do a, a thing on top of the box. Yeah, there's not, this is all just padding. There's nothing else in there. Okay. Look at that nice springs. Those are actually pretty heavy duty springs. I wasn't expecting that. And honestly, I was not expecting the springs to be this heavy duty. Only enough, this can actually take a fair amount of weight, no problem. I think at the front, it's got springs and a shock absorber up front too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The mirrors are all fully adjustable, in and out. I will tighten them up so they don't are so loose. But... Very nice, everything so far is very nice. I'm going to have to put a little bit of plastic glue on some of these little things that don't pop out as it's running. But other than that, it's not bad. Then if you want to see what's inside the little bag of stuff here. The USB drive is interesting. I'll pop that in, see what that says. I thought I was expecting the bumper to be metal, but even though it's plastic, it looks pretty damn real. Little light buckets and stuff, and I got lights for it, so that's cool. Huh. That is funny. I was looking at uh, this for being plastic, seems feels pretty damn realistic. Little bits, odds and ends. Well, yeah, you get, this thing's got to be taken apart to build it, but nice little things here and there. A couple wrenches, light guards, screws, wipers, extra cord for the lockers. Pretty cool. All right, well, that is my video for now. Just to give you guys an idea of what it's like and what it looks like. I think it's missing something though. That is really cool. Still one stationary though. No decals for that. Oddly enough, it doesn't go with decals though. I bought a bunch of different things because this, this is actually a Mercedes. Found that out. Where's this piece? But okay. So there it is. 114th scale Overland. From RC four wheel drive, and I'm calling it Project Silver, mainly because of the color and everything else. I'm gonna do is gonna be painted silver too. No silver. All right, well, stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like. More videos to come on this bad boy.